Are you scared of death? No. Because we live the good life and we're gonna go to new life. Personally, no, not really. I just think of death as another part of life. Yes, because it's probably painful. Does death mean an end to everything? Uh, no. Yeah, because you're gonna like die and you're not gonna be alive anymore and like no one knows you basically anymore. But maybe, maybe if you have kids, then your kids will still mem remember you. So yeah, for some people, so you, I, I'm not gonna exist. And for some people, I am. Because I'm not gonna exist. Yeah. It really depends on how you look at it, how you look at the situation. If you look through the eye of a believer, that is not an end, that is a new beginning. Uh, it's just like an instant step to hell and heaven, and afterwards we are sent to afterlife. Well, Islam teaches us that there is life after death, it's actually called the Akhira, or it's better known as the hereafter. Why is there death? Because because God, I, I guess God is like doing a practice life for you. The, and then, but the real life is I guess in heaven or hell and he's gonna like test you kind of, it's kind of like a test. And also you live a good life, so yeah. And you will live a good life in heaven or hell. I mean, heaven or hell. Okay, gotcha. Death should not be seen as the termination of life, rather the continuation of life, but in a new form. In our belief, God has made this world as a preparation ground for the hereafter. And with our death, our life in this world comes to an end. <clears throat> By nature's laws, uh, the only way we can uh, answer this question is, Allah wanted it to be like this and create death for all living beings. What happens after we die? The judgment day is gonna happen, and people are gonna, uh, we're gonna be split into heaven and hell. And uh, yeah. Well, when you die, you will go um, up the skies, and you will go heaven or hell. Mm -hmm. And. And maybe you can meet God, or maybe not, we never know, but what I know is that you can go to heaven or hell. In our belief, after we die, we expect to be judged about the way we use our free will in our life. The only way we can understand what happens when we die and after we die is to believe what's written in Quran and the sayings of Prophet Muhammad If the hadith uh, are authentic, then they also could give us an idea of what happens when we die and after we die. What do you mean? One day we're... Hello everybody, my name is Bilal, I'm a professional snake milker. 